Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to host multiple sites uh, using the same server. I am going to be using uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, it's my favorite uh, cloud hosting provider. And I have two extra domains I use for testing. Blackjack XYZ, which Blackjack is spelled wrong. That's okay. And then LoanPayment.info. And I have two extremely basic sites already set up running on my server port 88 I mean 8081 and the others pointed towards port 8080 and then my port 80 there's nothing there so by the end of this video what I want to be able to do is use is be able to go to the both blackjack XYZ and see one website and then go to loanpayment.info and see the other website uh, if you have any questions on how to set up your web server or get your website to run on uh, DigitalOcean. I do have another video I'll link to, uh, and then there's uh, plenty of other tutorials online. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to do this, what I need to do is install Nginx. So I'm just going to paste it in. So super user do apt install Nginx. And this will just take a second. Okay, once that's completed, if I were to go to my uh, you, my IP address where my uh, web server is set up at, I should see the welcome to Nginx. That lets me know like Nginx is installed on the server, and this is where we're going to use the separate proxy server to visit both sites. Uh, just a real quick test. I'm going to see what if I were to use one of these two URLs. So if I went to blackjack.info. I mean, Blackjack XYZ, I see that. If I see loan payment dot info, I still see the same thing. Don't I understand that it looks different right now. That's because it's not appropriately set up in which we would do that momentarily. So what I want to do is go back to my terminal, just clear this out. And I want to go into the uh, Nginx. So I'm going to just do CD Etsy Nginx. And first thing I want to do is I want to go to my sites enabled folder. So I'm going to just change directory and go into that folder. And as we see, we have this default file set up here. And we can just look in that real quick. So super user do nano default. In this folder, it does have some default configurations on how the server is currently set up. And as you see, we have uh, it's listed in port 80, and it has the uh, de default server already set up. It has some instructions on how to set up SSL, which we're not going to be doing this video. And we can see that it's looking into our var www.html folder. So if I were to X out of this, and let's just open up that file real quick. So super user do var www. Oh, I'm sorry, we need to use nano to look in the file. We can see uh, that's where they have the welcome to Nginx file, uh, which we're seeing here. So obviously, we're not going to use that moving forth. So what I want to do is inside the site enable folder, I want to unlink the default file. Okay. Now that the default file is unlinked, what we want to do is set up our own. So I'm going to just go back one directory. And I want to go into this conf.d. So cd conf. Okay, there's currently nothing in this directory. So what I want to do is set up a new configuration file. I'm just going to just call this file uh, new sites. dot conf it has to end with dot conf dot conf that's uh, important to remember okay now that we have this new site configure what we want to do is create our own server blocks similar to what we seen earlier um, a lot of information we'll go over today is already in the digital ocean documentation uh, if you want you can look into it uh, look at it in more detail I'll be sure to leave the links in uh, in the comment section below. I'll be sure to leave the links below. 
And I will also leave the links to more documentation on Nginx site. Right now I'm just showing you the bare minimum to get started, okay? So I already have those blocks set up. So the first one I'm gonna type, I mean, I'm gonna paste in. My first server block is gonna be listening in port 80, obviously, that's the uh, default port for HTTP. And I wanted to go to blackjack XYZ and also WW blackjack XYZ. Uh, so th what that means is anytime uh, this URL is typed in, I want Nginx to capture that URL and then pass it to localhost 8081. So as we've seen here, 80, uh, localhost is my IP address for this server. 8081 is how where I have my uh, website posted at, okay? And I also want to do this for my loanpayment.info. Okay, so we have the same thing going on here. We have, uh, we're listening to port 80. As you can see, this is not my default server. Uh, and then my server name for this is loanpayment.info. And it also has www.loanpayment.info. And this is pointing to port 80, 8080. What you can see here is port 8080. So that's all I need for that. So I'm gonna just X out. Yes, I wanna save my changes. And let me just clear this out. And let me test my Nginx to make sure everything's working. So in G-I-N-X test, just T. And everything seems to be working okay. So what I want to do is just restart my uh, Nginx. So system, CTL, reload. And I'm going to check the status. And everything seems to be running okay. So let me just clear this out. And let me test out these sites again. So earlier I went to loanpayment.info, I'm gonna hit refresh. And we see the actual site. And if I typed in blackjack XYZ, that seems to be working okay also. So now we have two sites running independently on the same server. I hope this helps. Uh, it's a lot simpler than I originally I thought it was, would be when I first started this. So I hope this will help you in the future. Thank you.